What if America's greatest reservoir wasn't just running dry, but hiding a terrifying secret beneath its depths? What scientists are uncovering under Lake Mead could shake the future of the entire Southwest? A July report from the Bureau of Reclamation makes some stark predictions about Lake Mead. Lake Mead was once a symbol of American power and resilience, the largest reservoir in the United States created by the mighty Hoover Dam. It fueled the growth of cities, quenched the thirst of millions, and supplied electricity across the West. For decades, it seemed untouchable, a man-made wonder that would last for centuries. But now, that illusion has shattered. Lake Mead is collapsing. Its waters have plummeted to historic lows, exposing ghost towns, sunken boats, and forgotten relics hidden for generations. The bathtub ring of white rock climbing the canyon walls is a scar so vast it can be seen from space. And beneath the shrinking waters, scientists are discovering secrets that could change everything we thought we knew about the American Southwest. Satellite data shows the ground around Lake Mead sinking, cracks forming in the desert floor and methane bubbling from unseen fractures. The reservoir isn't just running dry, it may be sitting on a geological fault line of instability. What lies beneath its surface could be far more terrifying than anyone realized. For decades, the Hoover Dam and Lake Mead were monuments to human control over nature. But what if that control was always an illusion. What if, beneath the waters, forces are stirring that could not only drain the lake, but reshape the entire region? Lake Mead is collapsing, and the story of what is being uncovered beneath its waters may shock the world. Chapter 1 A Vanishing Giant When Hoover Dam was completed in 1935, Lake Mead became a symbol of triumph. At its peak, it stretched more than 110 miles long and held enough water to cover the entire state of Pennsylvania in a foot of water. It was the lifeblood of the Southwest, feeding agriculture, fueling cities, and powering homes. But today, that lifeblood is draining away. In just a few decades, Lake Mead has dropped by more than 170 feet. Entire marinas have been abandoned, their docks left hanging in mid-air. Islands that were once submerged are now barren hilltops baking under the desert sun. What was once a sea of blue has become a patchwork of shrinking pools separated by mudflats and collapsing shorelines. The collapse is visible to the naked eye. The canyon walls are etched with a chalky white bathtub ring, marking where the water once stood. This ring, in some places hundreds of feet high, tells the story of a reservoir bleeding out year by year. For millions of people in Arizona, Nevada, California and beyond, this isn't just scenery, it's survival. As Lake Mead shrinks, so does the water supply for more than 40 million people. The river that carved the Grand Canyon is now struggling to keep the West alive. But the real shock comes not from what's vanishing above the surface, but from what is being revealed below. Beneath the receding waters of Lake Mead lie geological secrets, buried hazards, and signs that the collapse is not only about drought, it may also be about the restless Earth itself. Chapter 2 ghosts rising from the depths. What happens when a lake that once swallowed entire towns starts to give them back? As Lake Mead retreats, it isn't just water that disappears, it's secrets that re-emerge. As the shoreline collapses, the past is resurfacing in eerie detail. Abandoned boats rise from the mud, their rusted hulls splitting open under the desert sun. Skeletons of long-lost victims have been discovered some stuffed into barrels, others resting in shallow graves once hidden beneath 200 feet of water. 
cars, weapons, and relics from the Prohibition era litter the exposed lake bed, each telling a story once buried by water. But there's more than crime scene evidence surfacing. Whole communities once drowned by the creation of Lake Mead are reappearing. Ruins of settlements, old roads, and even foundations of buildings lost in the 1930s. For decades, they were forgotten, erased beneath the surface. Now, as the lake collapses, they stand again, ghost towns staring back at the modern world. What unnerves scientists, however, is not just what is found, but what it represents. If Lake Mead continues to shrink, these eerie glimpses of the past may be just the beginning. What other secrets lie buried beneath the silt, geological, historical, even toxic, that will emerge as the waters vanish completely? The ghosts of Lake Mead are rising, but are they warnings of the past or omens of what's to come? Chapter 3 Cracks Beneath the Desert Floor what if Lake Mead's collapse isn't just about drought, but about the earth itself tearing open beneath it? What lies under the desert floor could be far more terrifying than an empty reservoir. Geologists studying the land around Lake Mead have made a disturbing discovery. The desert is sinking. Satellite data shows that the ground has been subsiding by inches each year, pulling the surface downward as water is pumped out of aquifers and the weight of the shrinking reservoir shifts. Along with the sinking land, cracks are spreading across the desert floor long, jagged fissures that resemble scars etched into the earth. Some of these cracks stretch for miles, opening suddenly after monsoon rains or seismic tremors. To residents, they look like random crevices. To scientists, they are evidence of deeper instability. The collapse of groundwater combined with tectonic stress may be unraveling the very foundation of the region. If these fissures continue to spread, the implications could be dire. Highways could fracture, pipelines could rupture, even Hoover Dam itself, though an engineering marvel could face stresses no one originally planned for. What began as a water crisis could evolve into a geological one. Lake Mead is not just collapsing above, it may be collapsing below, and the cracks spreading across the desert are telling us the story before it's too late. Chapter 4 The Methane Mystery what if the lake that millions depend on is quietly releasing a hidden poison? Scientists are now detecting something bubbling up from beneath Lake Mead, and it's not just air. Recent surveys have picked up plumes of gas rising from the shrinking reservoir, some bubbling through cracks on the lake bed. Tests show traces of methane, a greenhouse gas far more potent than carbon dioxide. Methane leaks are usually linked to wetlands or thawing permafrost, but in Lake Mead, the source may be far more disturbing. Geological fractures beneath the reservoir itself. This has sparked a new theory. As water levels collapse, the pressure on the ground below is changing, destabilizing deep layers of sediment and allowing trapped gases to escape. If methane is leaking here, what else could be hidden beneath the mud? Arsenic, heavy metals, or other toxic elements long locked away, but now being exposed to the open air and water supply. For scientists, the implications are alarming. Lake Mead doesn't just face a water shortage, it may be sitting on an environmental time bomb. If gas emissions rise as the lake shrinks, the world's most famous reservoir could also become a source of climate warming pollution. Lake Mead is collapsing, but what it might be releasing could make its disappearance even more dangerous. Chapter 5 The Hoover Dam Under Threat what if the engineering marvel that once tamed the Colorado River is now in danger of being undone? The cracks around Lake Mead aren't just geological, they may one day reach Hoover Dam itself. When Hoover Dam was built in the 1930s, it was hailed as an unshakable fortress of concrete a monument to human ingenuity and ambition. Standing over 700 feet tall, it held back trillions of gallons of water, generating enough power to light up entire cities and fueling the growth of the American Southwest. For decades, it seemed untouchable, a symbol of control over nature itself. But that illusion may be crumbling. Hoover Dam was designed for a world that no longer exists. It was built for a reservoir that stayed full, for steady water pressure pressing evenly against its massive wall. But as Lake Mead collapses, the stresses on the dam are shifting. Instead of balanced forces, engineers are seeing unpredictable strain, lighter loads in some places, dangerous pressure points in others. The very weight distribution the dam depends on is being rewritten, inch by inch, year by year. Add to this the unsettling signs from the desert around it, cracks splitting open, the land subsiding, and tremors rippling through the Colorado Plateau. What happens if a seismic event shakes the canyon while the dam is already under uneven stress? Could the concrete giant, once thought invincible, begin to fracture under forces it was never built to withstand? 
The stakes could not be higher. A failure at Hoover Dam would unleash a catastrophe unlike anything the Southwest has ever seen. A wall of water could surge downstream, ripping through communities, obliterating infrastructure, and crippling agriculture for hundreds of miles. Power grids would collapse. Entire cities, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Los Angeles, would be thrown into chaos. Their lifeline severed in an instant. For the first time since its construction, scientists and engineers are whispering a question once considered unthinkable. Is Hoover Dam itself at risk of collapse? And if so, how long do we really have before America's greatest symbol of power becomes its greatest disaster? Chapter 6 The Water Wars what happens when the lake that feeds 40 million people starts to vanish? The fight for what little remains has already begun, and it could erupt into the first true water war in American history. Lake Mead isn't just a reservoir. It is the beating heart of the American Southwest, the single source that sustains entire cities, vast farmlands, and sprawling industries. Its waters flow through Arizona, Nevada, California, and even Mexico. It keeps Las Vegas alive in the desert powers the skyscrapers of Los Angeles, and feeds the farms that grow America's food. But as the lake collapses, every drop of water has become a weapon. Already, the cracks in cooperation are showing. Farmers in California's Imperial Valley have seen their water allocations slashed, leaving once thriving fields to wither and die. Towns across Arizona are watching their wells dry up, while cities fight to keep their fountains flowing. Behind closed doors, desperate deals are being struck each state trying to claw back more water to protect its people. Even at the expense of its neighbors, the desperation is spreading. Lawsuits pile up as quickly as the lake recedes. Accusations of overuse and mismanagement dominate the headlines. Tensions between states simmer as politicians issue warnings that sound less like policy and more like threats. Experts now warn that without drastic action, Lake Mead's collapse could trigger not just economic ruin, but mass migration. Cities could empty out, farmlands could be abandoned, and entire regions could become unlivable. And what happens when water becomes more valuable than oil, more powerful than gold? In a world where the taps run dry, the battles over Lake Mead could spark a conflict that rewrites the map of the American West forever. The crisis is no longer about water, it is about power, politics, and survival in a desert that is running out of time. Chapter 7 The Desert Awakens What if the land surrounding Lake Mead isn't as silent as it looks? Cracks, tremors, and shifting sands suggest the desert may be waking up from a long slumber, and this awakening could shake the American Southwest to its core. As the reservoir collapses, the very geology around it is shifting in dangerous ways. Subsidence has lowered entire sections of the desert floor, pulling the ground downward and warping the landscape. Out of nowhere, fissures rip through the earth, jagged scars that stretch for hundreds of feet, some so deep and wide they could swallow cars whole. For locals, they appear like warnings from another world, splitting highways, cutting through farms, and tearing apart open land overnight. But scientists warn these surface cracks are just the beginning. What lies beneath is even more troubling. The stresses caused by a shrinking reservoir and draining aquifers may be reawakening faults that have lain dormant for centuries. These ancient fractures buried deep in the crust could now be destabilized by the shifting weight of water and sediment. By draining Lake Mead, humanity may have tipped the balance, setting off pressures that creep unseen below the desert surface. Seismic sensors provide chilling confirmation. Tiny tremors, too weak for people to feel, ripple beneath the ground, subtle reminders that this land is alive. Each one is like the faint tick of a clock counting down towards something larger. Combined with record heat waves and violent floods, the ingredients for disaster are lining up. The desert has been patient, holding its silence for centuries. But silence does not mean safety. As Lake Mead collapses, the land itself may finally be stirring, and what happens next could rewrite the landscape of the Southwest in a single violent moment. Chapter 8 Secrets Beneath the Surface What if the scariest part of Lake Mead's collapse isn't what we see, but what we don't? Beneath the shrinking waters lies a hidden world of secrets that no one expected to find, and some of them could change everything we know about the region. As the lake retreats, a strange underworld is being revealed. Caverns carved by ancient rivers, caves sealed away for millennia, and sinkholes that open suddenly where the earth can no longer support itself. Some of these voids are so massive they could swallow entire buildings. And worse, they're still expanding, 
Each drop in water level exposes more instability, more evidence that Lake Mead's foundations are hollowing out beneath our feet. But the danger is not only geological. Scientists testing the sediments at the bottom of the lake have discovered toxic surprises. Arsenic, mercury, and industrial waste, all quietly settling into the mud over decades of use. For years, the water concealed these poisons. Now, as the lake collapses, they are being uncovered, threatening to leach into the Colorado River system and contaminate the drinking water of millions across the Southwest. And then there are the discoveries that are more mysterious than terrifying. Fossilized remains of long extinct animals have begun to surface, along with petrified forests and strange chemical signatures hinting at ancient climate shifts. Each relic tells a story of past worlds, when deserts were oceans and life looked very different from today. Lake Mead is becoming more than a reservoir. It is turning into a time capsule, its collapse tearing open history itself. But the most unsettling question lingers in the silence of the deep. Deep. What else lies hidden beneath the surface waiting to emerge as the waters vanish completely? The collapse of Lake Mead may not just be a disaster, it may be the unveiling of secrets humanity was never meant to find. Chapter 9 Collapse Scenarios What if Lake Mead doesn't just vanish but fails catastrophically? Scientists are already modeling worst-case scenarios, and the results are terrifying. In one scenario, continued subsidence and cracking could destabilize the canyon walls holding the reservoir. A massive landslide could send waves racing across the shrinking lake, overtopping dams and flooding downstream communities. In another, stress on Hoover Dam could reach critical levels, triggering partial structural failure. The resulting flood would devastate cities, power plants and farmland for hundreds of miles. There's also the risk of a tipping point. As water levels fall too low, turbines stop turning, power grids across the southwest collapse, and millions are left in the dark. Without that electricity, pumping stations shut down, and water distribution grinds to a halt, the region wouldn't just be dry, it would be unlivable. These scenarios may sound extreme, but scientists insist they are possible. The combination of human demand, climate change, and geological instability makes Lake Mead one of the most vulnerable and dangerous reservoirs on Earth. The only certainty is that the collapse has already begun. The only question is how far it will go before it's too late. Chapter 10 the lake that changed everything. Lake Mead was built as a promise, water, power, and prosperity for generations. But that promise is unraveling. Its waters are vanishing, its ground is sinking, and its secrets are rising from the depths. What was once a triumph of human engineering has become a symbol of nature's reminder. Control is an illusion. From ghost towns and skeletons to cracks in the desert and methane bubbling from below, every discovery points to the same chilling truth. Lake Mead is not just collapsing, it is transforming. And with it, the fate of the entire American Southwest hangs in the balance. Will it vanish slowly, leaving behind a barren canyon of dust and toxins? Or will it fail suddenly, unleashing a disaster that rewrites the map of the desert forever? Lake Mead is speaking through its cracks, its collapsing shores, and its vanishing waters. The only question left is, are we listening before it delivers its final shock? If you want more investigations into Earth's collapsing landmarks, hidden dangers, and shocking discoveries, make sure to subscribe, Hit the notification bell and share this video with anyone who still believes Lake Mead is just a water problem. The truth is far more terrifying. The land itself is collapsing.